Okay. Yeah. So today we are going to to discuss the basics of a market movement and the market in nature. Uh, first of all, we need to understand how the market moves and what are the natures of the forex market. Uh, uh, I'm sure you understand about the, the two phases of the market, which we say we have. Uh, for example, we are we are just trading downside. There is a uh, the impassive move, then you anticipate the correction, impassive move, then a correction, impassive move, then a corrections. Okay. So let data say this is the down trend. And uh, we want to, to determine where the trend is starting the uptrend. Okay. When it comes, when it come the market has crossed this level, the previous structure here, we say there is a break in the market structure. So we will mark this as the BMS, okay? So we will wait the market to trace back to, to this zone here, okay? Like this, before going higher again. This, then like this, okay? So when we say the nature of the market, we means when we say the nature of the market, we means there is a two phases, okay? We, we have this first phase as the impassive phase, and we have this phase as the corrective phase. So the market to undergo impasses, then fold by what? By collection. Impasse, then fold by what? By collection, okay? I think you understand what I say. Then, according to our strategy, first of all, you need to understand the market nature, as I'm explaining now. The second, you need to understand the trend of the Forex market, trend. Uh, let me clear this. As we know, most books speaks about the trend. Like we see the structure like this. And then we mark this as a lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high. But what I can say, it is a very, very, very difficult to find a trend trading like this, okay? So what I want to teach you today is, for example, we have a zone like this, a zone like this, yeah? Uh, then the price was here, maybe in 2014. Okay, then it started to trend to the downside. Then in 2016, touched this zone. Then it try, started to trend up, upward. Touching the zone, this maybe is 2018. Then started to trend and in 2020 or 2022, the price is here, okay? And, and, this, and this period of time is when we are starting to trade maybe, okay? So how can you trade this trade? It means you need to know that 
the press started here, touched here, touched here. Now it is here. So you will know that the press is on the way to touch the upside. Maybe it is here. Okay. So what you will need, you will need to be trading the buying setup only. Okay. So you will need to trade the buy setup. For example, here you will need to wait the market to collect to the downside. Then you take the buying trade, you go with the trend. You wait the correction, then you add another buy, you go until you touch this zone. Okay. But this is for swingers. Okay. Uh, let us go to the real chart so that you can see what I'm speaking about. Hello? Yes, yes. Good here. Nakuskia, nakuskia. Okay. Uh, Sasa he, he ni Euro USD, see there? Euro USD. Unaiona kama ilivyo. Sasa hapa tuko yeah. katika time frame kubwa. Ambao ni monthly. Sasa unaposema trend, unaweza ukakuta mtu anasema trend ni hii hapa inapo trend kwenda chini. Ndio, lakini this cannot give you the good trend. Yaani unachokiangalia inabidi uangalie katika time frame kubwa market ina trend wapi naona tukisema hapa market iliwahi kutachi maeneo haya si ndio yeah. uh, market vile ikaje ikatachi maeneo haya sawa so, kwa hiyo sasa market iligusa hapa ikagusa hapa hapa ikaja haikufika hapa ikaja ikufika ikaja kugusa hapa tena si ndio Kwa manake, tuinabili tu anticipate movement ya kwenda wapi huko juu. Sindeo? Dio? Hivo e, sasa ndivu uweze kutambua trend na saving in every. So, kwa nino metambua hapo, manake ilivogusa chini, ikagusa juu, inabidi ifatishe kugusa chini, lakini naweze ikarudi, ina collect, lakini haipasu kwenda kugusa chini. Yaani kama inarudi juu haiwezi kaenda kugusa juu huku kabla haijagusa chini wakati ilikuwa ni zamu ya chini kugusa ndo kama hapa ninachokwambia kwa mfano hapa market ilitoka chini imegusa hapa kwa hiyo ilibidi iende hapo juu ikagusa inakuja ili iguse chini lakini ghafri kaanza kurudi juu kwa hiyo hapa ingegusa hapa ingevunja kwenda wapi kwenda juu lakini kwa sababu iko katika hii zone manake market inabidi Iguse chini kwanza ndoende kugusa juu. Kwa sasa <coughs> kwa hapo ilipo tunataka kusema kwamba hii market ipo katika nini? Katika level ya kuweza kuibuy. Then inabidi uifuatilie katika time frame ndogo. Uangalie ni kitu gani kinachokifanya. Sasa ukifika katika time frame ndogo kama hizi hapa. 
unaangalia unaona market ilipofika ilitengeneza kitu gani si ndio market ilipofika ilitengeneza kitu gani <coughs> nadhani ulivyosoma katika kitabu umeona setup zetu zile za 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 hivi kwamba inakuepo na stop point hapa si ndio inakuepo na BMS labda hapa alafu inabidi iwepo RTO maana hapa inakuepo last maybe last bearish candlestick kabla hiyo movement ya kwenda wapi hiyo yeye na kuvunja hapa juu si ndio Yeah. So umeiona kwenye kitabu ile? Umeiona. Okay. So when you see this, it means you wait for the market to turn back to the order broker before the impulsive move that will go and break another what? Another structure like this one. Okay? Okay. So after determining the trend in the daily time frame you must you must find the structure like this one okay you must find the setup it is a by by sms or by stop watch sms is like a very swing in the other price action for example nilichokuwa nakwambia hapa ni kwamba market vitabu vinafundisha kwamba market inatengeneza higher high higher low higher high higher low si ndio lakini haviendi kuitengeneza hiyo katika market ya vitengenezi kwa mfano hapo ukiangalia ni changanyikeni uwezo ukajua haya hai kwa wapi haya low kwa wapi unaona hapa sasa ndipo panapoleta shida lakini sisi tunaweza tukawa tunasema hizi zone hizi ndizo haya hai haya low si ndio hapa imepiga chini unaona imeshaenda juu si ndio? Yeah. Hapa imefanya BMS hapa. Hapa kuna setup gani hapa? Stop Hear point. Me. Stop point yes. Uko uko sahihi. So after that we have our order broker. Ah. Our order broker is that rest bearish candlestick before this movement ambayo imeenda kuponja hapa. So what to to wait is to wait the market to trace back to to that zone okay inapofika huko you will need to find the setup for buying the market okay so we are waiting the market the market to be back in that level then tuweze ku buy na kuswingi katika time frame iliyo kubwa ukirudi katika four hour you can you can see ni muda mrefu si ndio kuna setup yeah. nyingi ambazo ilibidi uzifanye kwa hiyo hapo nakuonesha katika time frame kubwa lakini unaangalia kwa mfano katika time frame dogo hii hapa ni trend na yenyewe si ndio this yeah. was the up trend Sendeo? Mhm. Hapa ikaja kuvunja hapo. <coughs> Kwa nini nimewaambia ina imevunja? Unaona hii zone hapa. Hiyo ndo order block. Hii hapo. Lakini kuna zone unaiona hii hapa ndo previous higher high. Kwa market ime imevunja imekuja chini ime retrace imefika hapa kwa tuna anticipate market ya kufanya nini ya kuteremka ndio maana unaangalia naenda kukutana na ile setup kubwa ya time frame kubwa kwamba hapa tuna tunasubiri ifanya correction huku ili ipande juu so kutoka hapo kwenda chini na penyewe unaweza kaweka sell trade una sell hapa ukiwa unaisubiri iende kuriact chini huku sendeo 
hilo uweze kufanyaje kuibai vizuri do you understand what i say au nimekuanzia au nimekuanzia mbele nimeelewa hapo ila kwa kitu kimoja nimekiona hapo mmm hebu ikuze ina ni graph hapo aliposema ndio order block ilipo kuna hii kendo ya mwisho hii unasoma mi break mpaka katoa order block wapi hapo baada ya beri shikubwa ehe umeiona hiyo eh eh kwa kumbe ni hesabika sio lazima movement iwe kubwa labda kendo tatu mbili kwa hata moja tu inaonyesha kwamba ilifanya movement ya bearish sijakuelewa basi <coughs> e, order block umezielewa face yani umesema kwa order block mmm ah nikoga sizitumii hizo ndio maana ninakuuliza hiyo ah uh, when i say order block mm. i means the rusty opposite candlestick before the impulsive move to either direction for example hapa si tulikuwa tuna move kwenda juu kwa kutokea huko si ndio ndio tumetokea chini huko we are trading to the upside si ndio lakini tulivyofika hapa unaona movement hiyo kuja kuvunja chini huko si ndio tumetengeneza mm. lower low yani maana yake BMS yetu sasa hii hapa kuna BMS hii hapa kubwa kuna hii hapa ndogo Up. Ninaposema hiyo usimenielewa. Eh, breaking market market structure. Eh. Kwa hiyo sasa last opposite candlestick ya movement ya kwenda chini. Maana yake tunaangalia last bullish candle. Last bullish candle kabla ya ile movement. Kendo. Eh. Kwa hiyo tunaangalia hii candle kubwa hapa yenye momentum kubwa ya kwenda juu. Si ndio? ndio yeah. ilikuwa ya mwisho kabla ya movement ya kwenda chini. Kwa hiyo tunaimaki hiyo kendo. Kwa market it will need to come back to that candle stick before going down. Naona. Kondo hii movement imekuja hapa Afrika enda. Naona ndio imeanza kwenda hapa. Si ndio? Kwa hiyo ndio tunategemea hii movement kwa vyovyote vile hata wiki kesho this movement inabidi iende mpaka kwenye zone yetu ambayo kwenye time frame kubwa huko ndiko tunachukulia kendo za nani hii setup za kufanyaje za kubaya yeah kwa hiyo kanisere to that zone then we will buy again unaona mm -hmm. ndicho nilichokuwa nakimaanisha kwa hiyo unapotaka kuwa unapo setup ziko za aina nyingi kuna setup za kuswing kuna setup za kufanya nini za kuscalp sasa ukiwa na scalp uwezo kaanalize soko katika time frame kubwa sa you will need mm. <coughs> a lower time frame ili candle ziwe kuwa printed ziweze kuwa printed haraka na wewe uweze kupata opportunity ya kuweza kufanya nini kufanya biashara si ndio oh, yeah. eh kondo kitu nilichokuwa naweza kueleza kwa kama hapo lazima umetambua trend sasa tukirudi kwa mfano kwenye gold hapo naangalia Huyo ni ni gold. <coughs> gold. Gold yuko hivi. Gold kwa kumwangalia katika weekly hapo. Mimi nilimuona gold aligusa chini huko. Sawa? Yeah. Aligusa hapa juu kabisa chini akarudi hapo juu maana yake inabidi arudi chini sawa so, kwa setup zilizo nyingi za gold inabidi awe na setup za kum, kumseli lakini tunapojua market haiwezi ikatembea kwa candlestick za kuseli tu lazima iwepo na setup za kubai kwa setup za kubai unazipataje unazipata kwa kuangalia road block road block zilizopo nitakuja nikufundishe maana ya road block kwa mfano kuna angalia sehemu yenye opposite candlestick ikifika tu market iko inateremka ina bounce kidogo inarudi juu afi inakuja kukavunja ina bounce inarudi hivyo si ndio kwa hapa market ilifika mm -hmm. hii bearish candle 
sawa ikaizuia market ipande itaenda kuzuiliwa wapi hili eneo hili ambalo ndilo mimi ni anticipate ndio itakuwa take profit kwa hiyo hapo naona <coughs> ukitoka weekly ukaja katika four hour ndipo unaweza kuona vizuri what happened uh, tukirudi kwenye four hour ndipo unakuja kuona kwamba kuna <coughs> kuna kuna hii market iliyokuwa ina move kwenda chini si ilikuwa down trend hii unaiona mm. lakini ikafika hapa ikavunja ilivyovunja ilivunja wapi hapa chini ikarudi ka collect ikaenda juu hapa ime break na kulitest kwa hiyo ime test another another term kwa hiyo hapa kilichofanyika market imefanya break and retest ili iweze kwenda kukamilisha movement yake wapi hapa juu si ndio so unajua hapa hivyo yeah. toke kaja ku break chini huku market ikurudi kwenye order block sawa so, yeah. kwa the market must return kwa hapa unasubiri market pamoja na kwamba iko inaenda chini either ikifika ili eneo hapa ili eneo chini hapa iweze ku hold hapa alafu ndio itupe further movement to the upside unaona hapo au hapa kwenye break and test ime break hapa irudi guse hapa then iendelee ndio iende kukamilisha hapo movement ya juu si ndio na ndio itakuwa iko kwenye collect kwa hapo ndipo tu anticipate movement ya kuendelea chini zaidi kwa hiyo hapo itakuja kutokea nini itakuja kutokea movement nyingine <coughs> Unanielewa? Na kuja. Okay. Kwa hiyo tukishamaliza hizo Tukishamaliza hizo setup zetu inabidi tuangalie kwamba kwa sasa hii market ikirudi hapa inabidi ije ikwame wapi kwa mfano naona hapa chini hapa kuna hii kendo lazima ije ikwamishe hapa hapa itapanda kidogo tena irudi tena lakini finally market should touch this zone ndio ndio kwa na kimaanisha kwenye mambo ya kutambua trend lakini ukisema haya hai haya no kuna sehemu hautaweza kufanya nini kuziona kuona mhm dj dj Ah uh, DJ Unaangalia kwa mantri inachezea katika hii zone, si ndio? Imetachi hapo. Yeah. Imeweza kutachi na hapo juu. Katika hiyo zone, si ndio? Baki imegusa hapa, imegusa hapa. Hii hapa imerudi kuza chini haijafika. Imeenda juu. Kwa hiyo inabidi kabla haijagusa juu hapa, tuione ikirudi. Aidha maeneo haya iguse maeneo hayo iende chini. Kwa hiyo mpaka sasa hii setup nzuri ya kumtafutia ni kumseli. Sawa. Kwa naweza akageukia yeah. popote kuanzia hapo lakini lazima angalia je, alikofika kuna nini? Kwa mfano, kama akifika hapa kwenye break and retest hapa, kama akifika <coughs> this zone here. Hapa anaweza akageuza kwenda chi chini. Kwa sasa tuna tunaanza kumuoa vipi? Tukitoka monthly tunaweza tukaja daily hapo. Kuangalia what are the price action for now. <coughs> uh -huh. Sasa tukaona kwamba 
hapa anachokifanya alikuwa ana trend ana trend kutoka chini si ndio kama yeah. ni kutoka chini amefika hapa we can understand kwamba ah uh, hii oda block hii ah uh, this oda block hii yeah. <coughs> so the market must touch inside that zone before going down kwa tunasubiri kidogo tu market ifike hapa alafu tuanze kuse kuseli mhm mm je tukimseli tutamseli mpaka wapi possible tutamswing mpaka chini sasa hizi ni setup za muda mrefu kwamba unasubiri ili uweze kuswing si ndio lakini kama unataka kufanya scalping za daily lazima uje katika time frame labda ya ni hawa uangalie huku penyewe ni kitu gani kinafanyika unaona kwa sababu unasubiri kusel unaangalia hata wani hawa kuna nini kuna trend ina inapanda inafanyika eh inafanyika kama kuna trend inafanyika unaangalia ile trend yenye zake ilianziaga wapi ilianzia huku previous trend ilianzia huku ikaenda chini si ndio hasa hii inapanda maana yake kama vile vile maana yake inabidi turudi maeneo haya haya sawa mm. ili tuweze kupata kuseli kwao naona bado inatuhitaji uvumilivu kwamba we need to wait the market to reach to trend to wait the market to trend to that zone before selling the market naona setup ni ile ile kwenye time frame kubwa na kwa hapo je unajiuliza kwa ni subiri mpaka ifike huko juu unaweza kaisindikiza na order za kufanyaje za kubai sawa bai ah hazo tazitafutaje you need to to find the structures of buy setup kwa mfano hapo na market imevunja hapa si ndio market imevunjaga hapa ikaje ikala test hapa imevunja manake market inaweza ikaja hold hapo japo zinakuwa hazina uhakika sana lakini kwa kuscalp ndio kwa ya kwa market ikifika hapa haiwezi ikapita moja kwa moja lazima itakubali kuteseka angalau muda kadhaa order block zinazofanya kazi hasa hasa za za muda wa, 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 wa masaa manne kwa mfano hapo unaweza ukasema labda tuje tumsubirie katika hii candlestick opposite candlestick hapo si ndio kwamba kija eh kwamba kija atagusa hapa ataenda lakini kwa wani hawa unaona kwamba hapo juu vile vile kuna nini kuna possible area kwamba kuna hii kendo hii kwamba akigusa hiyo candlestick hiyo anaweza kaigusa akaenda so maana ile lazima uingilie hapa ikishindikana hapa hapa lazima ita hold lakini hapa kwa sababu kuna order block hii ilishaguswa hii hapa ilikuepo ikaje ikaguse ikaenda maana hii inaweza ikafanya kazi kwa hiyo unasindikiza setup zako zinakupeleka mpaka wapi na kusel eh na kupeleka mpaka sehemu ambako utapatia setup zako za kusel za kusel hivyo ndivyo zinavyofanya wala lazima ujue kwa for now where the movement is going ukisha jua kwamba movement hii ina trend kuelekea eneo fulani unaenda naye huko anapoenda ili uweze kuwa safe katika kufanya nini katika kufanya analysis katika kukunanilia ku trade ile trade zako zisije zikawa na stop loss zikawa heated sana Uka, ukafikia tu ukasema maybe i don't know how to analyze the market so hivyo ndivyo tunavyo fanya na nili trend labda bado dakika 
unaweza ukauliza maswali Angalia hapo swali bado So uh, let us look another example Unaona kwa mfano hii hapa uh, tunaona kwamba market mimi nilikuwa naiona ikicheza katika ile eneo si ndio ile eneo mhm mm kwa maana inagusa hapa inagusa hapa inagusa hapa inagusa hapa kwa maana yake pamoja na market iko inakuja chini haiwezi kateremka sana hivi lazima irudi juu kidogo ili iweze kwenda chini kwa hiyo mimi katika four hour nilitabiri kwamba hii market ilikuwa hapa kwamba itapanda kidogo inaweza ikafika maeneo haya lakini itahitaji iteremke chini ifike hapa ikishafika hapa tutaweza kuipeleka juu mpaka eneo gani eneo hili hapa naona kwa tunaweza tukaifikisha katika ile eneo maeneo haya ikavunja tukaenda mpaka hapa lakini baadaye itatutirimsha chini mpaka kwenye nini kwenye hii zone si ndio the final market must touch this zone kwa hiyo manake <coughs> hapo mimi nilishindwa kuweka order kwa sababu sikujua sehemu ya kuziweka za kuseli sikupaona leo sijaangalia soko mimi ningeingilia wapi ningeingilia hapa hii sijaiangalia ningeingilia hapo. So naiona hiyo order block imegusa, maana ni movement ya kwenda chini sasa. Iguse huku. Tonyanyuke tena ukifika hapo unaona kuna nini? Kuna order block hapa. Kwa inge fee inabidi ifike hapa. Afi tusindikize kwenda hapa. Kwenda kuvunja huko juu. Kwa hiyo ndio <coughs> Ndio namna tunavyoangalia soko namna hiyo. Naona muda umeisha. Nilete zoom nyingine tusome kipengele kinachofuata au unahitaji kufanyia mazoezi hivi. Nipe vipengele vili nifanyie mazoezi. Vipengele vili. Mm. Okay. 